Okay, David Zeritsky here for Z Lifestyle. I'm in the back of a New York City cab, and that can mean only one thing. We're going to head down to around Prince and Lafayette, some of the best men's stores, grooming stores, very cool place. And we're going to visit one of our favorite stores today. Let's go take a look. Okay, folks, we're on the mean streets of New York in front of Save Khaki. We're going to go in there. I think it's going to be a fun experience. Their motto is less is better. Let's check it out and see if that holds true. Here we are, David Zeritsky for Z Lifestyle. We are in Save Khaki in the Lafayette store. What a great place. Now, is this a huge department store? Absolutely not. It's very small, very in intimate, very cozy, I think is the, the feel I would give it. Even the rustic floor makes you feel right at home. And that's, you know, it's interesting. Their particular motto, which we quoted outside, really works its way in from a design aspect into here. Why the name? I mean, why save khaki? Why not save jeans or why not save work shirts? Well, the reality is, is that everybody's in jeans nowadays and uh, Dave Mullen, the designer, wanted to actually save the khakis. There weren't a lot of good khakis out there and this is not to besmirch the other designers, but there's a lot of places in the mall that you can go to get very wide khakis, khakis that kind of slouch down, that scream out corporate America, but nothing that was really fitted for the more discerning individual. Dave Mullen took care of that in a large variety of different colors as well, um, which is very exciting to us. Now, as we walk over here, you'll see that one of the things that they take their inspiration from is very simple workwear, right? You're not going to see anything with explosive tigers on here or giant tattoos. This is very basic Americana meets European fitted, which that's what we all like. But Let's face it, folks, there was an inspiration here specifically from Trish Somerville, who is the designer from uh, the lady with the dragon tattoo, to utilize their clothes. Now, if you think about it, Trish specifically had one specific direction from the director. He wanted to make a black and white movie. They could. It's not going to sell, obviously, to mainstream America. So they wanted to do color, but they wanted the palette to be very simple. Save Khaki has an extremely simple but interesting palette. This is called Petrol, and this was actually um, a piece that was worn by Daniel Craig. You saw it sometimes under the shawl cardigans. You saw it uh, peeking out uh, in some of the different scenes itself. This is Marine also being worn, and this was the light gray. And what's amazing about this is they're all the same style, but they, they all have a very different feel. And I think uh, the director and Trish Summerfield specifically wanted that. They wanted to catapult you into a very simple life and the hard part for Trish according to her was to actually take off the face of Bond because everybody knows Daniel Craig is Bond and make him this down and out type of uh, journalist that was truly in trouble. By the way, no accident folks, I'm actually wearing the nearly complete Daniel Craig outfit so I've got a safe khaki shirt and I've got the uh, scotch and soda jeans just like he wore the Ralstons in the movie. I want to tell you something too. Uh, wish you could feel this shirt. Probably one of the softest, most comfortable shirts I've ever worn. If you're traveling through an airport, walking around the streets of New York, um, or just sitting in your home reading a book, you're going to slowly start to um, appropriately touch yourself. The fabric here is amazing. So less, but better. Better fit, better feel, better style. Why don't we now take a look around? Okay, how much does this screen cool? All right, that's their pricing sheet. Is that fantastic? It's on a chalkboard. Again, very rustic, very feel. You know, a lot of people that are following the movie and following Trish Somerville don't realize that Save Khaki also has branched out in a big way and taken their uh, thoughtfulness around style and feel and fit and comfort and emotion to outerwear, to sweaters, uh, which are phenomenal. Again, they're, they're a little bit more fitted and interesting. And of course, you know, all the knittings, which by the way, Again, wish you had feel of vision here. Uh, David, specifically, the designer, does a certain process with the cotton. First of all, he uses a higher end cotton. That makes all the difference. So when you see a cotton shirt out there in the mainstream mall, if you will, or some of those department stores, um, you're probably getting different grades of cotton. This is amongst the highest. So you're paying a slightly premium price, although compared to some of the other designers, you're not. Um, and then it's treated. It's treated properly because David thinks about not selling these, but people wearing them. Big difference. 
Over here you've got a lot of the different shirtings and although we just focused on some of the more plainer palettes, you've got a big variety, right? You've got some of the bangle stripes, you've got tartan colors, um, almost imaginable. And, and you know what I love about some of these? Very simple, right? I mean, it's that simple, organic type of feel. Um, thoughtful, and yet you can kind of release yourself around it. As we walk over here, we see a little bit more of the outerwear. You know what's great about this store? You can take a look at That's the end of it. Right? I mean, so it's not a monster store. And uh, coming from one of the larger ones, which we're still a fan of, Uniqlo over down there, you can become overwhelmed. Here, you're a little bit more thoughtful about each piece. Each piece you, you reflect on, you spend a little bit of time with because you don't have the incredible diner menu of different clothes. And by the way, um, I've been dying to try something since I heard about Save Khaki, and that is to try on one of their khakis. So I'm going to do that. We'll see how it looks. Okay, that was very cool. Let me tell you something. First of all, their dressing room is under the stairs. It's very Harry Potter-ish. Pull the drape back, flip a switch, and you're getting changed. And there's, there's a ladder. It's a very rustic ladder. I don't know where it goes to, but it's still the cool factor is there. Speaking of cool factor, here are the khakis. I'm getting what this designer is doing. These feel better than any jeans I've ever worn. They're, um, they're slim, but they're not skinny, right? They, they fit extremely well, but the softness factor and the comfort, I feel like these have been broken in for me, and I've been wearing these for years. I so get this. Um, these are mine, all right? Uh, you know, a testimony to a designer in a place like this is, uh, will you exchange and money with them? And I think I'm going to be walking out of here with a bag today. So this has been David Zaritsky for Z Lifestyle. Thanks for coming to visit with me, Save Khaki. I'm sure this will be a hot spot in your trail when you go to New York. It's, you know, around Lafayette and, and close to Prince where all the other places that we've talked about are. So this is a must stop. You can stop next door for a donut as big as your face, a cup of coffee, and then come to Save Khaki. We'll see you soon.